Hello and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Beer Bros. Today we continue with another coffee beer. So for the second beer of the week we've got... Coming from... Carbock. Carbock. BBH uh, Espresso. Do you know what BBH stands for? I have none. Bourbon Barrel Hellfighter. Yes, yes. We've had it on the show before with espresso. And it can open. Bottle opener. Bottle opener. Did you say potato? I said potato. And Carbach is down in Houston, Texas, closer to where Victor's from. Nice. Hey. And once again, we do not have note cards this week. Our intern screwed up. I like it. So I guess BBH is a seasonal release that they do mm -hmm. every year. I'm not sure if it's only once a year. I think it might be a couple of times a year. And they do a lot of variations on it. <laughs> yeah. So this is their their espresso one. And this is uh, very healthy. Sort of see through. Is this a quarter as opposed to a step? <clears throat> and uh, this it's is got the, about a finger full of porter. It's Imperial porter. porter aged in bourbon barrels with coffee added. Okay. Because if you like darker, more robust brews, and you also have a pension for whiskey barrel aged ales, you may have just reached the promised land. Ooh. We made it. Okay. We'll see what it does. Let's give it a sniff. Ooh, smells yeah. a little whiskey. I'm not immediately getting the coffee, but I am getting the Hellfighter that I'm familiar the, with. The base, yeah. Hellfighter on its own is a, is a very, mm -hmm. very good beer. I do understand the cigar references that they made. I'm excited. Okay, let's give it a try. Mitt, you're getting a little bit of vanilla, clinky drinky. Chocolatey on the end. Smooth. Certainly not as much coffee as we had from No Chill, but that may be a good thing because I think it has your, if you're familiar with with stouts, porters, mm -hmm. it's, you know, very average coffee flavor that mm -hmm. standard, I guess, in all of them. It's not overpowering or anything like yeah, that. It's, which, which is kind of, it's a good thing. Unfortunate because they added coffee. True. That's so, true. Does this have legs? It tastes like it's fairly boozy. I can't remember off the top of my head what the ABV is. It's not, It's. I don't think it's as boozy as some of the other barrel aged beers I've had. Okay. Um, would you say that when you drink it is all you taste is whiskey? Not all. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's warm. You know, it's warm mm -hmm. to the throat. You get the alcohol, the, the liquor. But it's, it's kind of smooth. I mean, it's... Yeah, yeah. It's a very fine beer. Just, in this case, not as much coffee as I'd expected. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I mean, would, would, which is fine for the beer. I mean, it's... Like I said, it's a good beer. It just says coffee, and we tend to get really sad when beers mm. say there's something and we don't find it. <laughs> right. So did you find some vanilla in there? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Some, I guess that makes me a little bit happy. It's a good beer. Just not what it says it is. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. So with that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to ring the bell. Because that way you get notified every time we upload a new video. And if you're watching on Facebook, you should be sure to share with all your friends. So until next week, so until Friday, Beer Bros out. <laughs>